Hey guys, Nay back here from the Ozaffiliate.com. Just want to do a quick video on traffic and more specifically directing your traffic and um, and tracking your traffic. So if we just have a look at our my screen here, this is a very simple way of uh, the way that people are sending traffic. So whether you're buying ads from Google or Facebook. Uh, maybe you've got a Pinterest account or YouTube or some other social media or however it is you're getting traffic, uh, paid or free, doesn't matter. You've obviously gone to somewhere, ClickBank or, you know, Digistore or Commission Junction, wherever you're getting your offer. Uh, you're getting your affiliate link. You may have your own product, uh, which is cool, which you should always work towards because selling your own stuff is way better than selling somebody else's. But if you're just beginning, you've probably just gone on and got an affiliate offer to promote, awesome. From that point, you may just be placing an ad and directing it straight to your affiliate offer. Maybe going through a link shortener just to neaten it up, that's fine. And then from there, it's going through to their sales page and maybe you're getting some sales, maybe you're not. Um, hopefully you are, but the problem with this is once it leaves here, you you can't tell what these people are doing, where they're clicking off. Um, there are some analytics which will tell you you've got this many clicks, but uh, once it reaches this point, if you do make a sale, where did it come from? So you want to be able to track um, the clicks that you're sending, where they're going to and where they're coming from, basically. So from this configuration here, we're just going to duck down and add in a link tracking software. So this allows you to set up as many links as you want and direct them wherever you want to go. So if you are doing some Google Ads, uh, you'd set up a link that would come from Google Ads and it will go to, in this case, your one affiliate offer. If you have multiples, then you can set up multiples, but just to keep it simple, it comes in, it goes through the tracking and then it goes to your offer. Now, if you set up, if you have four different um, traffic methods, so ad, Google ads, Facebook ads, Pinterest, and YouTube, if you have one each, you can at least tell where your traffic is coming from. So if majority is coming from YouTube and very little coming from Google ads, you might want to piss off Google ads or vice versa. Same with Facebook ads. Um, you can even go so far as to track your conversions as well, but one step at a time, let's just figure out where your traffic is coming from because that's going to help us a little later on down the line. Um, I use one called Click Magic. It's a four, you can, it's so easy to set up just where you want to direct it to and where it's coming from. So that's why I use it. That is a paid tool, it's not very expensive, but um, it's very handy and I use it every day. And by logging into that, you can easily see where your traffic is coming and where it's going. So it's, it's just a daily, I can check things out sort of a tool. Um, so that's easy enough to set up there before it goes through. Let's take it one step further. So now that you've got that set up, hopefully you've already got a blog of your very own. Now, if you don't, you need one because by setting up your own blog, call it your own little home website, as I've called it here, over time, everything you do will go through that home website and from there it will farm out. Now, when you're sending traffic to your own blog, it's Google is recognizing that you're getting traffic and it's giving it sort of some boost. Uh, it's giving it some authority. So rather than waste your clicks and the traffic is just going straight over your head, um, you want it to go to you and then farm out from you. So it's all about building your, building your own brand and your own website. Now, as a little side note, if you weren't an affiliate marketer, I would say everybody, because everyone's got like a Facebook profile or whatever, I would say set up your own blog under your own name. Um, call it whatever you want, yourname.com. And everything that you buy online has a 
almost everything has a some kind of an affiliate program that you probably don't even realize about when you want to go overseas and you buy you know tickets for flights you can become an affiliate for that company put that as a page make a little page about buy my flights from here and put that on your blog and every time you want to buy flights for the rest of your life buy it through that page um, click your affiliate links and go through that page that way you're just getting something back and all your friends that you speak to they all buy flights as well just send them an email whenever you want to buy flights here's a link buy it through here and then you'll just get a little thing now that's a, a very simple way of just making some dollars on the side you don't have to make a business out of it but if you did that for everything you bought online and your friends bought online books and you know if you buy shit off amazon and, you know stuff ebay all that sort of stuff if they all go through your link you just be making little bits and pieces on the side so, so that's a little side note it's like being an affiliate marketer without putting all the gun ho into making it your business that's just a handy little thing set up your own website it's so easy to do um, and I'll leave a couple of links below if you want to just find your own um, find your own domain name and set up your own it's really easy to do so uh, anyway sorry I got off, off topic there for a second so now you're linking you're sending it through to your blog it's giving you your own blog a bit of a branding Google's picking it up that it's worth um, it's worth looking at and from there it's sending out now the next step on from that this is if you're building your business is you've got to be building your email list your marketing list any business that's out there it's all about your customer base your customer list if you take a retail store for example um, selling whatever product and they have a wicked list of all their customers and they're in touch with them that business is worth quite a bit of money if you didn't have that if you were just doors four walls and product inside you didn't have any customer base you're just relying on people walking past there's no reason somebody couldn't set up the exact same store next to you selling the same product and they would be worth exactly the same so you're not building any value into your business but if you had a list of 100,000 customers that business would be worth far more than if you just set up the business so I hope that makes sense but your whole business is about building your own personal customer base so your list that you can take with you now you may have some customers on your Facebook page or a group in Facebook or whatever and you can access and speak to those customers but say Facebook shut you down or they went bust or whatever and the platform shut down you overnight you will lose your entire customer base your entire business will be gone um, say so have a, a massive YouTube channel if YouTube happened to drop off the face of the earth or you got kicked out or whatever you would lose your business straight away this way this is the only way where you can take it wherever you go and you can send whatever traffic to it but it's your list no one can really take it away from you unless you lose your computer or whatever but you'd have backups for that sort of thing so building your own personal brand list group of people that just follow you and listen to what you're saying um, that's what you want to build over time now you listen to most affiliate marketers and they say okay you're building a list awesome what you want to do is send out emails to them and after they do join your list you want to send out an email and send them back to the affiliate offer all right let's let's do it a slightly different way because somebody that's fair enough because somebody you know was interested in something they gave you their details you sent them to the affiliate they didn't buy at that time you'll follow up with an email saying hey remember how about this rather than send it direct to that affiliate link why not double your own personal brand here take that email and send it back to your blog site this is effectively doubling the traffic so the person has come through the video website they've gone through maybe they didn't buy they've gone through and it goes back to your website again so you're getting double the, the effect on your own website and again this is building the authority Google says yes there's plenty of traffic going there and if you ever want to monetize with ads and stuff like that you, you're effectively doubling your traffic 
So it's just a handy little tip. And if you wanted to, you can actually add a link tracker in there so that you, it would, you would say, um, you know, customer second time or, or comes from your blog or however you want to word it and name it, you can actually tell that people are clicking through from the emails that you send. So you're effectively measuring your return on investment that you that the emails that you are sending out are having value. And you might name them email one, email two, email three, and you can tell very quickly just by looking at your list which ones are coming, which ones are working. Okay, number one is working well, number two, nobody opens, number three works. So again, it's about tracking what what you're doing and making it relevant that what you are doing is having an effect. Because if it's not having an effect, there's no point doing it. You might as well put your effort into something else. So that was just what I wanted to make this video about is directing your traffic. The traffic that you get, it's so hard to get traffic. You may as well do something good with it when you do. Don't just, this is a bit of a waste, I think. If you're paying for Google Ads and you're just sending it, you know, you spend $100 on ads and you get no, you get, you know, disheartened and then you quit and it's, it just doesn't work. And I've been down that road many, many times over. Then you start to do things that make a difference. You go, oh, that works better. And then you slowly build your entire business like this, you see, and keep them going. And then this is obviously just one offer. You might have, when it hits your blog site, you might have different offers for different things. Keep it all in the same niche. So it's all, you know, in the one idea. Don't have one for dogs and one for making money online and one for weight loss. Keep it all in the same niche. But you may have different offers, different things, and then you have different pages, and then you can direct them out. And again, with those same customers, you can say, well, you like this product. How about this product? And you can measure all of that through your link tracking as well. So without getting too confusing, it's just about being able to measure where the traffic is coming from and where you're sending it to, and then measuring that if it comes back, yes, you're on a winner, it's working. And if you improve on all these little things bit by bit, you're going to have a rocking business up and running uh, better than most. So that's all I wanted to touch on today. Um, now, if, if you do anything like this, I want you to put some comments down below. Say, yes, this is what I do, or no, I don't do this. Or if there's other parts that you that you do that I haven't mentioned here, put them down. Let's talk about them. Uh, let's either make a video on them or we'll make some comments. We'll talk to each other. Let us know what you're doing, what's working, what's not working, uh, anything like that. So that's all for today. Um, do us a favor, give us a little thumbs up. Um, if you've got some value out of this, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, put them down below and, uh, and I'll help you out wherever I can. Thanks guys.